not only depth, but probably playmaking ability. Is this as excited as you've been about a group since you've been here? Yeah, that's a, that's a great opening question, man. I am. There's a ton of excitement, you know, and um, I think there's a lot of expectation, right, that, that we have. And, um, I mean, we, we've, got, we've got guys that are, that are healthy right now, you know, and, um, you know, Tyler Brown missed the spring, okay, recovering from a foot that happened to get that, that fixed and cleaned up. And, He's knocking some rust off the summer and getting get going. And same thing with Adam Randall. We got the phenomenal start to the spring. A little bit of a quad issue. Um, you know, came back and, and after not practicing very much, showed a lot of really good things in the spring game. But now that we're here and, and um, you know, those guys are working together without coaches, um, they're excited. You know, and, and I was talking to uh, Antonio, and he's like, Coach, we're, we're so deep, man. Like, we're so deep. And, uh, and I think our guys, you know, like they, they want to play with top talent. Like if they want they want to see a freshman coming in that that can get the job done, right? They want to play with top talent in, in, in their own room, and then also against a great defense. They want to have a great defense to go against every day in practice, right? And so I think with our roster, um, our, our complete team roster, everybody's excited. We talk about the receiver room. It, it is. Yeah, sure. I'd say it's the most excited I've been about our personnel, and and also just the variety we have. I mean, we have we can we can put anybody on the field and have really cool ways of of, uh, of structuring, you know, concepts based on receivers, running backs, and tight ends. I think better than ever before. You know, so uh, Coach uh, Coach Riley's going to have uh, a lot of fun. I think trying to craft some of that. But, um, I could go on and on and on, but man, there's a lot of expectation, I think, a lot of excitement, um, and, and our guys are hungry to go to go do it, you know, uh, here soon. So. You mentioned the depth. What's that? Is there a, is there a sense of motivation around the guys that have been around for a while, and have kind of the guys that have been hurt, but they're looking for that chance? And then you have, like you mentioned, the two freshmen coming in. Is there a motivation from, you know, I got to beat out these freshmen that are coming in? Is there, you know, for everybody? There's no question, you know, and. Um, there's no, there's no secret to, to how we've had injuries the last few years, um, you know. And, but you look the last two seasons, we've had a freshman All-American receiver. Well, you know, Tyler Brown was given more opportunity because Antonio, coming off a great freshman year, you know, plays in, in a handful of games, you know, and, um, and, and redshirted, right? Um, and Tyler rose to the occasion and, and had a great season. And then um, bring in, you know, I'm really excited about about Noble and about Ronan. I mean, those are those are guys that 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 had growing to do. You know, some development ahead of them, and they're working their tails off. They've had a great spring and summer, um, and so you know, I'm I'm excited about about those guys. And then you bring in uh, Wesco and, and, and TJ Moore. Um, you know, they all know each other, right? They all know about each other before they even arrive. And so what I have seen. In starting the spring, is that guys are really taking that next step, right? And they all want to play. They all want to be a starter, right? And so I think um, there is a little bit of that, you know, um, um, what's the word for it? Almost like there's a bear on your tail, right? Coach Swinney talks about that a little bit with our team. I mean, hey man, like there's there's guys coming in that are really good and, and want to play early. Um, I better be on my A game. Right to, to stay where I'm at or get to where I want to get to, and so uh, absolutely, you know, and that, that's made our room better. And like I said earlier, you know, our guys want that, right? Iron sharpens iron. It's going to raise their game, and um, and what's cool too, I'll say this about my room: um, Adam Randall, for instance, Antonio, like, you know, Adam would take uh, Brian Wesco when he first arrived. He would take him under his wing, and they would go. And they would actually drive to certain places and, and work with certain trainers. Adam didn't have to do that, but he took him, so took Wesco, I think, to help him, but also, I think Adam knows too, hey, Wesco's really good at some things that I can learn from, and hey, let's help each other, let's let's improve together, you know, and so that's been really cool for me to see that there's not any animosity, you know, there's there's a brotherhood that we've had, and and I think it's even stronger this year so far, and, and I expect that to, to continue, and that's part of my job too, is that, you know, we can't have selfishness. You know, we can't have that in the room. And, um, I want to allow it, and, and I haven't seen that so far, so I'm excited about that. You mentioned Antonio as a freshman. How much is he different as a player now, as a junior? Yeah, we'll see, right? I mean, it, it, everything I've heard about this summer, he's, he's doing extra, he's around more, he's leading better. 
he, he looks he looks better than he ever has, and that's what you expect, right? When you get into a program and you and you and you grind with our phenomenal strength staff um, and nutrition staff, nutrition staff, our recovery staff. I mean, we have a lot of staffs here, a lot of people that do a great job at, in their roles, and so uh, he looks better than ever. And um, you know, he's one of the first guys I think, one of the first names that I hear spoken of um, regarding guys excelling this summer. We've seen freshmen come into this program at the wide receiver position that have tremendous success over the years, going back to maybe you know, seven, eight, nine years. What are we going to see in West Coast? And what is realistic for what they can do in here? Is there any kind of a ceiling there? Yeah, I mean, a lot of that's going to be on them. You know, I think. Uh, Wesco, you know, I went and watched him play uh, play a game, and it was I was I was taking video and I was texting the guys like, all right, this this guy right here is is different, you know. And, um, he showed up, and you know, there's a transition right for any freshman um, um, from high school to, to college, you know? and so um, a lot of that's going to be on how they on how they transition, right? Uh, Wesco already having a spring under his belt. I just was really encouraged with him, sat down with him after the spring. I said, man, just think about all that you've already accomplished, all that's already taken place. It's flown by, maybe not for him, but you know, flew by and that, hey, you came in and you had, quickly, you had mat drills. You went straight from mat drills to uh, well, winter training the mat drills, and then you had spring practice, and then you know, here we are, summer training. But he, what he showed in the, in the spring uh, proved to us that, that he, can, he can really help us, right? Um, like I said earlier, I mean, you've got upperclassmen that are, are phenomenal players in the room, right? And they're improving, you know. And I expect a lot of that out of those guys who are in here. And so, um, so yeah, there's going to be a competition, right, for, for who runs out there first. And I think obviously game one, we want to be playoff ready, play one, right, of this season, right. And so there's going to be a phenomenal, um, you know, push uh, from our staff. To have our guys, uh, to have our guys ready, right, and that's going to take um, a, a ton of coaching, a ton of of, of intensity, um, you know, from, from our staff to have our guys ready. And so, you know, I think Busco has a phenomenal shot of really helping us. Early. And the same thing with TJ. You know, I, we haven't had, got on the grass yet with, with TJ. Um, and we'll see. Um, but I'll say this, and I mentioned this earlier. Uh, TJ, you know, if you look at our guys know this, but you can see how much time they're spending on their on their uh, iPads uh, studying. And, and I think he's number one right now as far as how much he's, he's been watching film, right? And so he's 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 really hungry, uh, and, and he wants to play early, right? Um, I don't know any freshman that doesn't want to play as a freshman, right? Um, but again, so much is that of that's going to be on me to try to make sure that they're that they know what to do, right? That they're ready uh, mentally, and then. Uh, they got to go do it, you know. And so I'm excited for them to have that opportunity. Uh, and that's how I've been doing it. I've, I've never promised anybody. I didn't tell them, hey, you're going to be a starter. I'm not going to do that. Why? I love my guys in the room, and I believe in my guys in that room. But I did say, hey, there's opportunity for you. Uh, we've, again, we've had two consecutive years of uh, 